Greetings, this is Steve Carrington, Mayor of Palmer, and I'm here to take you five days into the future for our June 14th, 2022 City Council meeting. There's actually two meetings. There is a special meeting at 515, I think we said. Uh, we're meeting with the Board of Economic Development. That's a board that the council appoints uh, to look at economic uh, development in the city of Palmer and help advise us, and they've requested a joint meeting with us. So we'll be having that with the Board of Economic Development, Dusty Silva's chair of that, and she and I will be kind of co-chairing that meeting. Uh, technically speaking, let's see if I were to read this, it says, discussion of Board of Economic Development's resolution recommending City Council provide funding for a concept master plan for downtown Palmer and implement elements of Brownfield area-wide plan and urban revitalization plan. Basically, looking at ways we can improve Palmer. So you may want to tune in or attend that meeting. That's at 5.15 before our normal 6 o'clock meeting. Uh, under consent agenda, those are the things that kind of happen kind of automatically at the beginning of the meeting. There's uh, exploring a cooperative service agreements for limited fire dispatch services. There's uh, accepting Josh Tudor's resignation from the planning and zoning. He was just appointed as a city council member, and so he has to resign the PNZ position before we can um, put somebody else in that position. And we also have uh, a couple of uh, what they call first readings for uh, ordinances. Uh, 22-003 and 22-004. What, the, what will happen with those is they'll be read into the record so you can see them in the packet. And then on June 28th, we'll actually be looking at those officially and um, reviewing them, maybe amending them, and then seeing if we approve them, they will become an ordinance. And if not, if they fail, they won't become an ordinance. And approval of the minutes from the prior meeting. And then we have a communication of the appearance request, a Jenny McDaniel for the Scottish Highland Games is going to present about the games. And those are coming up, I believe it's the 25th and 26th of June, coming up soon. There's a couple public hearings, um, resolutions, recognizing Gov Governor Dunleavy has actually done some things and we want to recognize him for that, kind of thanking him for that and making sure that they stay in the process to help us get money for working on projects for vital traffic and safety improvements, as well as the wastewater um, project that we have on the go going. And then we have action memorandums. There is uh, notifying the state of Alaska that we don't object to a liquor license renewal for Fred Meyer store. And there's an IT support services RFP award. Uh, there's also an action memorandum agreement for Similar to the to the liquor license, that there's a change in, uh, I believe it's the Connoisseur Lounge um, LLC located, actually it's across from City Hall. And there's some changes there and we're registering that we don't have any objections to their changes. Basically the state, for a lot of these things that are licensed by the state, they give us a chance to offer any comments we have. And typically, traditionally, if you know, if someone's been good, they've been, you know, getting their business license, they've been paying their sales tax, then we don't have any objections to them continuing doing business. And then also there is an executive session towards the end of the meeting. Um, we're doing a review. We have an annual review of our city manager. So it's coming to do for the annual review of John Lucy, our city manager. We'll be doing that under executive session. And that's all that's listed for 